Hello YouTube and welcome to Jang's Oriental Food Workshop, the channel that teaches you how to do Chinese takeaway food at home. And yes, we are takeaway owners, we have owned takeaways and we've been working in takeaways for a very, very long time so we actually know what we're talking about. We're not just two Chinese people telling you how we think they do it, we actually genuinely know. Yes. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Q intro. Do you know what an intro is, Mum? No. No, <laughs> I didn't think so, but here's one. Okay, so I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu and our video today is... Go on, you can do beef, it. Yep. Beef chow mein with sauce. With sauce. A lot of people put um, beef chow mein brackets wet in their descriptions on Chinese menus for this. The word wet to me is like the word moist. It's like, oh, that doesn't sound appetising. Like soggy bread. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so. Thanks to our patrons for suggesting this. Um, remember, our patrons get their names in the up this side. It'll be up this side in the end credits, and also they get to sort of help the direction of the channel. Yeah. Yeah. So this one's actually quite easy to do. It's not difficult at all. If you've got the stuff at home, oh, I could say that about all of it, couldn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, were you listening? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> what, what did I say? I forgot. You forgot, you weren't listening at all. No. This is easy to make at home, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay. If you know how, watch us. If you know how, watch us. And now you're all enthusiastic. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll get on with this. Right, so here is the beef that we showed you how to prep in the last video. So we're using that beef here today. If you don't know how to do this, we'll put a link below, but it's literally the last video we posted. You're going to need some blended garlic. You're not going to need all this. You're going to need a third of this. So a pinch of sugar. So there's about a quarter teaspoon of sugar. Two dessert spoons of light soy sauce. Four dessert spoons of dark soy sauce. You need a lot of dark soy sauce. Obviously the oil for cooking, some spring onions, a small handful, again a handful of onions, a third teaspoon of MSG, some chopped pak choy, lucky boat noodles, don't go to um, the take takeaway, don't go to your uh, supermarket and get blue dragon or anything like that, they're just not very good. Lucky boat is the bog standard industry favourite noodle you use. It's by far superior to anything else you can buy in a normal sort of western supermarket. We sell them on our website as well so head over there if you want to buy some of those and you're going to need 250 millilitres of water and we'll show you how to put this all together. I also forgot to mention that you're going to need potato starch and water. That's to thicken the sauce so it adheres nicely to the noodles. So we'll get on with that. Right, so as always, you turn on the heat. So this is on right now. You want to get it really hot before you add the oil. Right, so the pan's hot enough. So we're going to put about two dessert spoons worth of oil in. And let that get a little bit hot first. And you want it to put the beef into the pan first. The beef, the beef always goes in first. If you put it in second, it tends to steam or boil rather than fry. It's really important as well if you're not using a high powered wok like you would be in a takeaway. Not going to need all of this beef, you only need half. There's about 150 200 grams worth of beef there. Let's tell it's hot because smoke starts coming off the uh, pan. Whenever you're ready, man. Really want to let that sizzle first, don't move it around. You want to let the first um, sort of What's the term called? The first. When the beef goes in first, you want to let it sit. Seal. Seal, thank you. And you want to let it sit there for about 20, 30 seconds. Yep. 
Then you start moving it about. And now in goes the onions. Too many. And um, normally you'd add spring onions, but I've just used them. So in go the spring onions. After you've fried the onions for a bit, you want to put a tiny bit of garlic in. About a quarter teaspoon of garlic that goes in, yeah. At the same time, in goes your MSG. Here you want to put in your noodles. Remember, one block is enough for a portion. Again, we sell them in blocks of three on our website, or you can buy a nine kilo box if you really want. It all helps us go to us becoming full-time by supporting the channel. In goes the pak choy. You want to let those noodles sort of catch a little bit, so let them sit for 20, 30 seconds on their own. It's at this point though, I'd like to point out that a lot of people like to add blue jag and chow mein sauce. And don't. Oh, that's looking nice. Now is the time to add your water. I normally add it all, mum doesn't. I add it all. And at the same time, you can add your pinch of sugar, your light, and this is your dark soy. Dark soy is mainly used for flavouring of the soy flavour. It's lower in salt than light. Light soy basically has no real flavour apart from salt with a very, very light amount of soy. Dark is much thicker and tastes much more soy. Um, so when you use it, you're really using it for the soy flavour and to darken things. Light soy, again, is just for salt. So if you don't have light soy, salt does just does the trick, just use a touch more dark soy and add salt. Yeah, Ma? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, that was a constant trick. You were looking at how delicious the food was, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. This actually doesn't take very long at all. From start to finish, about six minutes, if you prep before. Okay, so you want it to boil for about a minute just to evaporate some of that water, otherwise you're gonna get a very, a very soupy dish. Now is the time to add the bean sprouts that I forgot to mention. Come on. Yeah. Okay, so in goes spring onions. Ah, I mean, so in goes bean sprouts. Sorry, I forgot to mention the bean sprouts at the beginning. Just let the bean sprout cook then, you can thicken it. Getting really nice now. Look at that. Looking delicious. Yeah. You're looking forward to this? Yes. You hungry? Yeah, I haven't had lunch yet. No, no, we haven't eaten. Uh, I literally haven't eaten thing. It's four o'clock now, 4 p.m. I don't know how I keep my figure. <laughs> okay, now it's time to thicken. As always, you use potato starch. You can use corn flour, but like I said before, corn flour cooks out. And if you don't know what cooking out means, it means you can cook it for too long and it goes back to liquid. So you want to make a little well. Well, you want to make a well so you can pour the cornstarch in and you thicken from there and you find the next spot where there's some liquid and then you thicken from that spot you don't want to pour in too much corn flour at any one time otherwise you end up with like a lump of glue that will never thicken the whole dish up and you thicken it gradually and that looks about right maybe a little bit thicker yeah, perfect. So, we'll dish this up and get on with trying it. Here we go. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. So we just put some chilies on the top. How good does that look? Right, so here's the food. I'm having to cut my head off because mum's so much shorter than me. <laughs> Don't worry about them. Here, we're gonna try it now. Yeah, so there we go. That's how to make the beef chow mein with sauce. 
It's absolutely delicious. It's probably my favorite way of doing it, even though most places do a dry chow mein rather than with sauce. But it's really, really yeah, good, especially with, nice. yeah, especially with beef. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Thumbs up from mum there. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, next video is going to be the class, well, traditional egg for yon, which isn't actually called egg for yon because egg for yon isn't traditional. But this is the closest variation to what Chinese people actually eat. So, hope you look forward to that. Oh, and thank you to the patrons for supporting the channel. You mean so much to us. You've got, uh, well, seafood level patrons have your own video once a month, and we're filming that in a minute, actually, so. Yeah, bye-bye. It is nice.